yeah, yeah. After sitting through the entirety of this debate, I think that the UK is about to get a rude awakening as to what the consequences of this Prime Minister's irresponsibility yeah, are yeah, going yeah, to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The reality of where we are just now is that even if we do come to a consensus to extend Article 50, any one of the 27 countries in the EU could, could veto that extension. Yep. We already know that Farage and his pals have been round lobbying different countries yep. like Italy, Hungary, I, Poland. And it's ironic that he, he wants other countries to block the will of the very parliament yes. that he apparently wants to have so <laughs> yeah, much yeah, control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like I say, all it takes is one country out of 27 and we are out on the 29th with no deal. Yep. Because the EU is a nation of equals. Right, now that right. we can see the no deal train coming down the tracks towards us, we have all these new suggestions coming out the woodwork, rumours of cross-party consensus for an EFTA type deal or to stay in the single market or the customs union. We proposed this two years ago yeah, yeah, and yeah, it was yeah, ignored. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. This, and the thing is, people of Scotland will be watching this mm -hmm. and despite being told to vote no to stay in the EU, yeah, yeah. despite being, voting remain in the EU, despite sending back a majority of MPs on an anti-Brexit manifesto twice, yep. it's still ignored, and despite the Scottish Government putting forward compromise proposals, twice. here we are anyway. And I challenge one union, unionist member in this place to tell me what more we could do on these benches that we yep. haven't done yep. to prevent yep. Scotland yep. being dragged out of the EU and into no-deal chaos. No now, no, no, I can no, hear no, the voices no, no, saying you should have voted for the deal, but they just make my case for me. Because even if every single Scottish MP did support the Prime Minister's uh -huh. deal, she'd still have lost. Yeah. So it makes no yeah. sense. This yeah. is not a union of equals. Yeah. And it gets summed up best by a good friend of mine and a former member of this place, actually, Jim Sillers. And he summed it up best when he talked about Scottish independence. And he said that on the 18th of September, between the hours of 7am and 10pm, Scotland is in control of its own future. And the question is whether at one minute past ten we hand back that power or we keep it for ourselves. Right. Now, we chose to hand that power back to this place. And look what has happened. And I tell you, Mr Speaker, if this is a union of equals, then the next time that Scotland is asked whether we want to be part of this union, I'll bet my money that the answer's different. Yeah.